And the second book and film, it's still too early to tell what kind of an impact uh, they're going to have. They're out there. The book is with a major publisher, Penguin Random House. It's, you know, out in the world and the film is being distributed. Um, but these are difficult times to release projects because of the pandemic. Theaters are closed, for example. Uh, typically, a film like this gets a lot of buzz and um, publicity because it opens in theaters. Well, we couldn't open in theaters. Um, so that's a problem. And there's less of an appetite in this pandemic for people to engage with serious ideas um, for obvious reasons. People are looking for sort of Netflix escapism and I'm not criticizing them, I am myself. Um, you know, that, that that's the nature of the times is you don't want to sort of deal with all the heaviness and then go and watch a film like this that as you pointed out, can be kind of depressing. Um, so, you know, I think it is a very ripe time. I think the message is more important than ever because we're on, we're teetering on the brink of existential crises, of inequality, of climate, of, of democracy, so many dimensions. The world really needs to take a closer look and hopefully the film and book will help them do that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, tell your friends, you know, tell your friends to watch the film, tell them to read the book. <laughs>